Time is 8.57. I'm Scott Slade. Thanks for listening to Atlanta's Morning News. Some final thoughts here as I'm ready to give up the chair here after um, after 32 years and a week or so. As I leave you, it is just so long. It's not goodbye. These guys won't miss a beat. I've always said the real star of the show is the news, and I'll maintain that. And I'm going to be a listener as much as anything else. And let me leave you with this. Please, please, please stop the erosion of local media. Whether it's your local paper, your local radio station, your local TV station, even your local blogger, please support them. Read, watch, listen, interact. If you want to move your business ahead, remember Ted Turner's advice. Early to bed, early to rise, work like hell and advertise. We would love to have you. The founding fathers thought it was important to put First Amendment guarantees of free speech in the Constitution because they knew it was vital for a fourth estate to hold the powerful accountable and tell compelling stories to generate public response to needs. So please, if you lose the local voice, you lose the people who are going to be most able to examine what's going on around you. And that is the number one news value, along with oddity, curiosity, universality. It is local. What is happening down the street is most important. And this is a local radio station. I hope you'll continue to support it and all the other local media. We have some terrific outlets here in this town. As for me, it's not over. I'm looking forward to getting some rest and then begin a next chapter with WSB. Walter Cronkite retired from the CBS Evening News in 1981 and worked another 25 years. I don't know if I'm going to go that long, (laughs) but you'll hear from me again, and I hope you will be around for it. So God bless you. Thanks for your support. Thanks to all of you who reached out to let me know that it's meant something to you over the past 32 years. So hang in there, and all the best. Onward. All right. I sure appreciate you. I really do. Christian Edwards says it's going to be cloudy and breezy today. Mark McKay, you still there? Is there still anything in front of us? Uh, just some slow traffic on the north side perimeter, but a thank you to you. Nine years ago, after Captain Herb Embry's passing, you graciously asked that I step in with uh, Atlanta's Morning News, and it's been my honor and my privilege, Scott. You're the best, my man. Thank you so much. And I told you my final words would be, thanks for listening to Atlanta's Morning News. Derek Von Hessler in four minutes. <laughs> we'll see you.